So Sylvia, it's been a great day. Sun's going down now. What's going to happen? Well, here in the high desert, sun goes down and it cools off. What's cool about this house, Sandra's going to show us, is even when the sun goes down, it keeps heating this home. Yeah, this is the old part of the house. Uh -huh. And see where this old tile and new start? Sure. Well, I can be walking down here. It's lovely, cozy and warm. And I step onto this, it's cold. Uh, that's amazing, because this is radiant floor heat. That's radiant floor Let me floor try it out. I, yeah. It is cozy and warm. Yeah. And the other great thing is, I've got allergies. Right. And the dust doesn't, and the pollens and so on, don't blow around and get up my nose. So, Sandy, one of my favorite things in this solar heat situation is that you see how much energy you're actually making. It's just so satisfying <laughs> to know, <laughs> and to know how much, um, you know, I'm, I'm helping my little patch here. I'm reducing my carbon footprint. So Kelly, as one of the owners of the company, I'm fascinated by what Sandra has said, but I'd like to know a little bit more about the environmental impact that just one solar electric system can make here in Bend. This system has eliminated over 13,000 pounds of carbon pollution from the environment in less than a year. I have both companies here, the plumbing shop, and E2 Power. They are collaborating on this system, and that's a pretty green concept. The sun's yeah. gone down, and this is still registering at 150 degrees solar heat in this water system. Tell us about it. Steph. Well, we use uh, solar collectors up on the roof to heat this body of water. And utilizing heat exchangers inside this tank, we transfer the heat to both the potable water and the radiant floor heating system. And is it, is it tricky to do the plumbing in a situation like this? Um, not really. Once you have the layout figured out, um, like Mike here did the design on it, uh -huh. so we knew what pipes to hook up. And it provides nearly limitless domestic hot water. So I'd call that a hot topic for going green. <laughs>